Hey, how's it going everybody? Charlie Wilson here, AK Sinister Charlie. Welcome back. Hi, how are you? That's <laughs> good? Great. Hey, um, we got some more fat electrician to check out. Um, this is a shorter one, but uh, it's getting close to Christmas time. This is uh, America Has No Chill on Christmas. Um, holiday special. This is from last year, so um, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of blank out sometimes. I don't know what, what's going on up in my head. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's uh, get to it. Go. Great, Grant. Right. Hi, welcome to my Christmas special that I never planned on making because, well, it's Christmas and I have plans. Or I had plans, rather. Unfortunately, it's been snowing for the last four days where I live Yay. and it is currently... I live in Arizona. <laughs> we actually, uh, down here in Tucson, we do get snow. Um, every so often, not so much in Phoenix, but, uh, Tucson, you'll get snow like a few days out of the winter. It's pretty nice. 11 solid. degrees outside. For my it's international viewers, snow. that's actually freedom units, not commie units. Mm. So I decided to make a Christmas video. Agreed. And for some reason, people keep asking me to make a video about the truce of 1914. You know, that oh, okay, time yeah. during World War I where the Germans story. and the British and the French all threw down their weapons and celebrated Christmas in the middle of no man's land and played soccer or did whatever Europeans do. And that <laughs> would be a great stupid. video. The only problem is America's not involved. So, no. I mean, obviously, America's not involved. If they were, the war would have been over. So I decided to consult the interwebs so. to find the most significant moments in American. But we, never mind. Military I, I history, like we were looking for that ultra one, heartwarming but, human moment. And I'm just going to level with you. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure that it, because when you Google the U.S. military in Christmas, apparently America goes hard. Like America has no chill on Christmas whatsoever. Oh, so this heartwarming Christmas video is now officially changing to the top four times that America lost their chill on Christmas. But first, if you're currently watching this in the bathroom while you're hiding from your family, go ahead, like, comment, no, subscribe. And also, if you just stole Grand Thumb's <laughs> intro, go ahead and have a drink. I wish I still drank. For the YouTube manual reviewer, that was apple juice. Oh, and uh, by the way, uh, if anybody's wondering, I um, I checked to see where the shirt was I was supposed to get that I bought. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it said it was delivered today. It's not in my mailbox. So um, yeah, that might be $40 just down the drain. So uh, well, he got paid, so that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. I, I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing it's the post office that messed up, or, or somebody just stole my stole my shirt. I don't know why you'd want a medium shirt. But okay. Uh, drinking alcohol isn't friendly to advertisers. <laughs> Buh. Sorry, I had to change my hat. <clears throat> Fat and I'm already getting sweaty. Anyways, top four times America lost their chill on Christmas going in chronological order. Starting off in 1776 with George Washington crossing the Delaware. That super ultra heartwarming human moment when the soon to be president of the United States of America crossed a frozen river on Christmas to try to murder the enemy in their sleep. Gotta set a tone right out of the gate. Anyways, Open if you don't know, they ambushed about a thousand Hessian soldiers. Hessians were essentially German mercenaries that were fighting for the British. Ooh, yeah, I'm trying to tell you that America was fighting Germans before America was even a thing. I think my high school English teacher would have called that foreshadowing, whatever that is. Anyways, the Hessians were actually caught so off guard that there were very few casualties on both sides. The Hessians only had 22 men killed and the Americans only lost two men. The remaining Hessians were then taken as prisoners of war, and I guess that's kind of heartwarming. Moving on to number two, we have the 1814 Treaty of Ghent. This is the treaty that would bring Gent. an end to the War of 1812, which if you don't know is basically the Revolutionary War Part 2. And that treaty was obviously signed on Christmas Day of 1814. However, However, nobody seemed to tell Andrew Jackson that because like three weeks later on January 8th, oh, 1815, he would go toe to toe with the British Navy at the Battle of New Orleans and win. And this is considered to be America's greatest naval victory over the British Navy. And then I guess the treaty just like went into effect after that. They, they were just like, oopsies, whatever. Mm -hmm. Moving on to number two, we have the first Battle of Fort Fisher in 1864. Now, if you don't know 1864, that puts us in the middle of the Civil War. You know, that one time America decided to have a scrimmage game against itself before it decided to only play away games for the next 200 years years yeah that anyways fort fisher was held by the confederates and on christmas eve the union decided to pack a ship full of explosives try to float it up next to the fort and then blow it up that failed miserably and ultimately all it did was alert the confederates that the union was there then on christmas morning they decided to bombard the fort with artillery that also failed the union ended up uh, losing that battle good, huh? however there would be a second <laughs> battle for fort fisher in 1865 where the union would win and then three months later the civil war would be over and moving on to number four operation linebacker two during the vietnam war Basically, in 1972, America was pretty over the whole Vietnam War thing. So yeah, on December 18th, kind of, they decided they were... Uh, you know, when you lose... Well, when you lose wars, it's kind of a letdown. Like, uh, like always. <laughs> like, 
Uh, how many wars have we lost now? I don't know. We're going to conduct large-scale bombing raids, primarily with B-52s, a.k.a. the buff, a.k.a. the big, ugly, fat fuck. They then proceeded to bomb the North Vietnamese day and night nonstop from December 18th all the way up until Christmas Day, at which point there was a ceasefire in honor of Christmas and to give the North Vietnamese an opportunity to sign a peace treaty. The Vietnamese declined, to which America responded, bet, beatings will continue until morale improves. They then continued to bomb nonstop the 26th, 27th, 28th, and then on the 29th they decided in a single bombing run they were going to send 60 B-52s all at once. And I think we can all agree 60 B-52s is a fucking lot. And the North Vietnamese did agree because by the time the 60th and final B-52 had landed back at base, the North Vietnamese had already gotten hold of America and said that they would enter peace talks. That treaty was then signed in January, bringing an end to America's involvement in the Vietnam War. And that 12-day bombing run was then affectionately given the nickname the 12 Days of Christmas. Oh. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. The top four times America lost her chill on Christmas and, uh... Happy Christmas or Merry whatever the fuck you celebrate. Thanks for watching. Go buy some merch at thefatelectrician.com. I did. Quack bag out. I haven't gotten it. <laughs> it's upsetting me. Uh, Bebop, I need my shirt, but I can't find it because someone probably stole it. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come eventually. Hopefully. I have hope. Um, all right. Uh, there you go. Uh Another video, uh, kind of a shorter one, but it's Christmas time, so I figure why not Let's get the Chris, get into the Christmas spirit. I'm always in a Thanksgiving spirit. I, I always eat, but um, yeah, uh, thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Uh, please like you and subscribe you down below. Helps out the channel, makes me feel real good inside. And um, yeah, uh, comment down below if you got any suggestions for anything. Um, yeah, and bye.